Alright guys, we're back with yet another Dave Editor video for Borderlands 3. This one's a little bit different from last time, as you guys can probably know by now by Raptors. Uh, Dave Editor video got pretty much obsolete not long after I made it because of a massive uh, user interface change and a couple other things. Um, and it hasn't really been cooperating lately, so we're going to go with a different save editor this time. Uh, Zach save editor. It's a great save editor. I'll get you the links, they'll all be in the description below. Uh, this is the page you're going to open up when you click on the link. And you're just going to come over here, you're going to hit releases, or you're going to come down here and you're going to read up a little bit. A little screenshot of it. Borderlands 3 Save Editor is a tool to help you modify your Borderlands 3 saves and profiles. Currently, it runs on Windows, Mac, operating system, Linux, and it also supports modifying PC saves as well as decrypted PS4 saves and converting between them. Uh, we'll get into all that. Uh, again, I don't know how to decrypt PS4 saves, but you can find that somewhere else on YouTube. How to use visit releases and download the corresponding version of your platform, unzip and open the editor, blah, 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 blah. Building from scratch, don't worry about any of this. This is just if you want to remake it yourself using Rust. We got some credits here. We got some credits going out to Apocalyptic. Another editor, the majority of the code is based off of that. Hacker Smacker, PS4 bits. Uh, Levin from Loot Lemon for providing items that are available to import inside the editor. That is a massive upgrade in this one. We got the Google Docs, they will also be linked again, and then, you know, just a couple other things here. Uh, that being said, let's just jump right into this. So, release version 0.1.4, it's still getting updates. This actually just came out three days ago, uh, as of the 25th of September. So, it's getting updates still as we go. He's still got a list of things he's also working on. Right here we have the Loot Lemon integration. So, they have put the Loot Lemon uh database into the save editor which is all offline by the way it's a downloadable thing uh it does have a thing that it checks for online to try and update itself uh but to my knowledge that's the only thing that it does there's a vehicle tab to unlock vehicle parts and skins reversing the order of your items as they appear in the list is now a thing uh you can change the backup folder figure all item input now uses a set button to apply the levels, correctly identify items rather than labeling unknown rarities. Uh, and yeah, so there's just a bunch of other things here. So again, if you are on Windows, you're going to get Windows. If you're using iOS, you're going to get Apple and Linux is Linux. And there we go. So pop up on this Windows one. Pull over my downloads. Single item. And we just, oh, there we go. Correct. Close out of that. Open her up. More info. It's an unknown publisher, so it's going to ask you to do that no matter what. Nope, that didn't finish dragging off. There we go. Now, mine's already set in its save location because I had it downloaded earlier, but when you open this originally, it's going to ask you, uh, it's going to pop up like this. And ask you what you want your save folder to be. Uh, so you're gonna, fo you know, you're gonna go Borderlands Three save, save games. Uh, this is my Epic Games, and this is my Steam. So uh, I'm gonna click on this, and I'm just gonna hit Select Folder, and then boom, all my saves are here up in the top right. We're gonna start on the profile. Profile.save, PC profile, PS4 profile. Flop it back and forth as you see fit if you need to. So Guardian Rank Tokens, as you can see, I have zero. At the moment, this doesn't have uh, the ability to change your Guardian Ranks directly, but I believe that is one of the things on the to-do list, which is great, because I love that personally. Uh, your Borderlands Science Tokens, your Borderlands Science level can be edited in this. Uh, as you can see, I'm already Trutanus, because I totally did that and didn't just edit it up. Anyways, you can uh, unlock all the weapon trinkets, the skins, the room decorations, emotes, echo themes, character heads, and character skins for all of your characters. You can max the bank and lost loot SDUs. On your keys, we got golden keys, diamond keys, vault card one keys, chests, two keys, and chests. Beautiful. Uh, as you know, we haven't been able to edit the vault card two keys or chests personally yet in uh, Raptors Editor because of some issues. And this is actually gorgeous that it shows up here. We've got our bank. So as you can see, this looks a little bit different than what it used to. We have the Hellfire, the Craps, Prompt Critical, blah, blah, blah. All my light shows and stuff. We could search. Say I wanted to see if I had uh, more than two light shows. No, I only got two. 
You know, maybe I wanted to see if I had... How many rebounds? I got two. All right. You know what? Do I have a Maggie in my vault? Look at that. I got a couple. These are not actually Maggies. These are heads. Because of the old way we had to insert heads, but... Things like that. You know, I got some Stingers. I got some Beskars. Some Class Mods. Lucian's Call. Faster Fight Tizzy. Company Mans. All of it. You can search as you please. And this is a beautiful part. There's Loot Lemon items right here. So say you wanted to go to Loot Lemon items. You can import the item or you can open it on Loot Lemon. So let's do something simple here. We'll go down. It's in alphabetical order. You can obviously check uh, the way you want. There we go. Boom Sickle. Open it on Loot Lemon. This gives us all of the information from Loot Lemon again. Variants, parts, buffs, and nerfs. Uh, no splash annoyance. Whatever. So we're gonna go back in here. Hold up. So say we wanted the boom sickle. We're gonna hit import item. Back to our items over here, and it's at the very bottom. You can also click this to make it so that the uh, things appear in backwards order. So anything you knew you put in won't be at the bottom. It'll be all the way up here at the top. So for the parts on the boom sickle from this, we have plus ten percent fire rate, plus ten percent damage, negative twenty five. Right. Accuracy Bloom. It is the Boom Sickle, as you can tell by the Flash Damage Radius. Uh, it was a Cryo one. Or Grip Grip. Magazine Sickle. You know what? I don't want the Magazine. I want it to be unlimited ammo. I'm just going to click that and take it off. Uh, Under Barrels. A Sickle. So on and so forth. You know, I didn't like Cryo either. So let's go over here. The Available Parts. We'll scroll down a little bit. Uh, and you know what? I want it. Radiation. You just click it, pops it over, all said and done. It's already Mayhem 10, but obviously we want more than anointments than that. So the unknown parts, but obviously the anointments. Now a lot of these have uh, a description underneath them now in here, and that's beautiful. Unfortunately, of course, Let's see where is it? We scroll down. We have these terror anoints that are no good down here at the bottom again. Uh, I think those are just, again, they're built into the game. There's nothing we can really do about it. They could be manually removed, but I'm not going to ask Zach to do that. Uh, so let's say we want uh, X Mag Fire. Nope, because we didn't uh, have a magazine on that. So. Hmm. Drone Active Fire a Reload. Drone Active Bonus Damage. Sure, why not? We'll do that. Now we have an extra Neumann in here. And again, you can go up to 15, you can go up to whatever. If you want to search for a specific anointment, so say you want uh, an Amara phase. Oh, nope, nope. This will just pull up the ones that show the description for phase, so. Phase cast damage, phase slam damage, phase flare damage. Slam damage reduction. So. Beast for the Beastmaster, fade active damage, yeah, things like that. Pretty simple. Put them all together. Uh, grenade damage, sure, why not? Now, you can also show all parts to get all of the available uh, Vladoff assault rifle stuff, not just the stuff that's allowed on the weapon. As you can see, this is only parts that can roll on the weapon. So, all parts gives you other parts, even the ones that can't roll on the weapon technically but you know we're modding the game we don't really care most of the time some people do add a shred of fire to it change the skin more parts different scopes things like that anyways you can duplicate the item you can delete the item you can change all levels in your bank to whatever item level you want as long as it's between 1 and 72. The serial code is here. If you want to copy and paste it, you would click into it and control C and then control V somewhere else. If you want to import a serial item, it's up here at the top for your bank. Again, control V to post a serial item there and it'll import it into your items. That being said, you know what? Let's go to the settings. Settings doesn't really matter. This is just your configuration folder, your backup folder, your save. 
And you can change the size of the UI if you want. Um, I like it at one. Some people might like it smaller. Some people might like it bigger. Good show. Go back to the bank. You can see the boom sickle still here no matter which tab I go to. Great. Hit save. Everything saves. Save successfully. The boom sickle will now show up in my vault in game. Of course, I don't actually want the boom sickle, so I'm just going to delete it and save again. Let's head to a character real quick. See what we can do on characters here. So, shows you your maximum amount of experience you can have at level 72. You will be 9,520,932. Uh, level 72, you can change your head. You can change your character skin. Between the massive amount of them. Uh, you can even change your echo theme in this one. Pretty great. I don't actually think I've ever gone through the echo theme. You can add skill points to yourself by doing that. You can change your class if you like. Uh, you can unlock your artifact, your class mod, your weapon slots early if you would like to. If you start a new character. You can max all your ammo as you can just see. I dropped from... Or I jumped from whatever I was at to 2160 and 1200 pistol. Because I was messing around with a SMG and a pistol earlier. Uh, you can change your SDUs to whatever they need to be. Your backpack, your heavy. You need to max. That'll max them all out. Go to your inventory. It's the exact same thing as the bank page. Uh, the difference here is I have that upside down. Nope, that was the right way. Okay. Um, here's my sleep. You get... Everything you want. Super overpowered stuff here. I mean, again, you don't need to do that. But, so... Look, available parts for a legitimate Schluter. Schluter. And then all of the different stats that can roll on it. And then, of course, if you didn't want that, you could show all parts. You can add a Caustic Coast. You can Autorize her. As you please. Anointments are the exact same. Good lemon items if you want to import them directly onto a character. Uh, the you know what? Let's uh let's import a random weapon here onto my character just so we can show that it does save across. Uh, dark army plus, sure, why not? Go back over here to this dark army plus. that uh, currencies you can set your money and your iridium vehicle tab this is a new tab just unlocked in the most recent update where you can actually change uh, and add your outrunner parts your skins your jetbies technical chip and your cyclones all the parts all the skins all the wheels all unlockable just by clicking this then hitting save and then they would be at max. Uh, once again, settings tab is just settings. You can change where your backup folders go. You can change where your configuration folder goes. Yeah, that is pretty much all there is to this specific save editor. Pretty straightforward. Nothing really new about it. Um, it's got Loot Lemon built into it, so you don't really need the item code things. But just in case you do, as you guys know, we have some links here. For you, uh, I believe Dominate made this. Yep, Dominate made this beautiful list of item codes here. If you like specific item codes, um, including the uh, customizations, which you can now add into this save editor by just copying, say, Sorry and Sith. Head back over to here. Oh. Head back over to here. Nope, oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong character. Also, remember, guys, if you're going to mod a character, try not to be in the game. Uh, and if you are in the game, try to make sure you're not on that character because it's not going to save it properly. There we go. Save that again. So we're going to import. Import and bam. Gunnerhead. 35. Save that. All right, now let's go back in the game. Load character. Load back into my character that I just modified. Who is apparently still at the droughts. I need to take it back to sync.
So that has nothing to do with this video. Alright, as we load up. Oh, all my weapons unequipped. That's rude. Oh, here's my dark army I made. Well, moved over. All of everything unequipped. So that might be a thing here if you try and edit it while it's in the thing. You see, some things appear to have been. Unequipped that weren't unequipped before. That becomes a common thing. I will bring it up with Zach. You can see we have the Saurian Synth Gunnerhead. Ah, uh, my sloop artifact. Oh, we're gonna this. Just any old Dark Army. I've never actually used a gun, but... They're great things. Uh, so yeah. That is Zack Save Editor. Next time, we teach you how to do this. Twenty-one fifty-six. Thirty-five fifty-six. Uh, it also adds a couple of these. But we'll get into that another day. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoy your new save editor.